we are at the Machane Chabad, at the shores of the Lake Balaton in uh, Hungary, which is uh, probably the largest uh, kosher and Jewish uh, refugee camp for Ukrainian refugees in Europe. Uh, it's a camp of a huge site of uh, 18 acres with uh, over 30 buildings, um, and it's serving uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, Jewish refugees from all over Ukraine. The camp was um, initiated with a cooper unique cooperation of the Hungarian uh, Jewish uh, Alliance, uh, led by myself and the Ukrainian uh, Jewish Federation, led by Rabbi Stamler. As soon as the war broke out, the Federation of Jewish Communities of Ukraine were really challenged. We had to save people's lives. We never had such experience because it didn't exist for so many years. And we evacuated over 30,000 people out of Ukraine. But then we realized that we need to find a camp site where people that are not interested in moving anywhere can stay until the end of the war or until Mashiach comes and the redemption really happens. I really had a bad feeling because I felt like why is it that I'm not under the war and my colleagues and other fellow Jews are just a few hundred kilometers away? And I felt I really had to do something. I had to make a difference. I called up Rabbi Stambler and I said, you know, I don't know why I can help you, but please, if I can help, please feel free to reach out to me. And uh, in the two, three weeks, he really called me back and he said, Rabbi Kovesh, I need your help. We need a place which can hold up to a thousand people and we need it already for Pesach. This was just two weeks before the holiday of Passover. I said, it's not so easy, but I will try my best. And we pulled some strings and we reached out to different uh, 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 people. And uh, thanks, thanks to the Hungarian government, uh, this place, which is uh, a government-owned uh, uh, site, was given to us just in a few days. And we had another week to prepare for the holiday. And already for Pesach, we had 200, over 200 people here from Ukraine. And ever since, we continued to uh, broaden the capacity of the camp. We renovated many of the buildings that were abandoned for many years uh, to add more and more uh, facilities that are able to uh, you know, hold the refugees. Uh, and uh, right now, we are also in the process of uh, adding more mobile homes. We want to get home as soon as it's possible, but Russia is not getting us a chance. And we were, um, we get up at 20, 24th of uh, February while Russia started to bomb in our city. Uh, they started to bomb uh, airport and uh, they're not getting my family a chance to get back home. So Jewish community get this uh, beautiful um, base on uh, Balaton. So we are staying right now here and uh, hoping for everyone that will be safe here and be well here. We came with my family to this place, amazing place, and uh, we are feeling very good here because we have everything for life. We don't feel that uh, Near us it's a war, a very dangerous place, and here it's safety, it's nice, and uh, uh, all people uh, do everything best, the best for us. We have here uh, we have uh, food, we have everything for a nice life for, for us and uh, also for our children. We have different programs now in the summer. We have children's camps, different ages. Some of them come out of Ukraine and will go back to their families. They didn't want to move, so we save them for a few weeks. We have some families that come for a while until they find where they continue. And we still have families that were here from the beginning of the war, which they live here. Um, we try to give them all their needs. So we make them happy also uh, physically and also spiritually. Overall, uh, we had more than 2,000 people that came through here. Many of the people come just as a first stop after they left Ukraine. Many of the people, let's say women, that their husbands cannot leave. Uh, they are here with their children waiting for their husbands or for the war to end or for them themselves to go back. Many of the, uh, the people that are here are here because wherever they were able to uh, settle, uh, temporarily in other places in Europe uh, it was not uh, a facility that was, a, that was comfortable. And we also have some camps for Ukrainian Jewish kids 
Um, many of the kids came now from Ukraine just for the camp and some of them are going back to places that are not war zone at this point. So it's all types of people, but we are here to serve everyone and to give a warm home for all these people that uh, lost their home um, and are waiting to, to find a warm, warm, warm Jewish place and a warm Jewish home.